Storm Team Weather's seven-day forecast is brought to you by the Flower Motor Family, serving our community since 1968. Welcome back. Well, we are almost towards your Friday, so let's make it a little bit better today with our photo of the week. This is a beautiful photo of Dillon Lake. Thanks so much to Ray Mathis for sending this in. Absolutely gorgeous outside. Oh, my goodness. And even I think that's maybe the sunset out in the distance. And, you know, the other interesting thing is we have a lot of snow still out into the higher elevations. And that is continuing to melt because we've been seeing some very hot temperatures. So for right now, we're not looking at very hot. We're mostly into the more warmer sector, 88 in Grand Junction, 88 in Delta, 80 degrees in Montrose. It's either mild or it's also hot, depending on how you gauge things. But we also have 70s and 80s up into the higher elevations, and things aren't going to stop there, of course. We're going to get mostly into the 90s for today. As far as what's going on outside on America's Metro's Live Tower camera, not only do we have more sunshine for the lower elevations, and that heat is also on the way, we actually have some storms coming as well. You can see all these clouds out into the distance. Well, those are starting to produce some precipitation out into the higher elevations at the moment. In fact, if we look at our radar and satellite, we're going to see most of that precipitation coming for the higher elevations. And in fact, it's all caused by a high pressure system. Usually high pressure systems come in and they heat us up because they clear up the cloud cover and they also just sit there and as they do, they just continue to bring more heat into our area. And that's exactly what's happened is this high pressure system came in on Tuesday and it's now just sitting there and we're continuing to see those 90 degree temperatures and even triple digits yesterday for our highs. The other thing though is this high pressure system is actually going to bring us a little moisture. Here's what's going to happen. We have some moisture. You can't really see it until I pull this map forward. Do you see all these milky white colors right there as well as down to the south of us. That is all actually caused by a tropical storm system called Barry that is approaching the Gulf. But as that continues to pull into the Gulf, it's actually going to kick up more moisture. And so that high pressure system is actually going to pull up that moisture and direct it over into our side of the state. And that's going to provide enough fuel for some thunderstorms later on into the afternoon, mostly for the higher elevations. But but we're really going to see that moisture start to pick up and it's going to really affect us as of tomorrow. And we're going to see a higher chance of some storms as that moisture just keeps getting pulled in by that high pressure system. So here's what's going to happen today. We've been seeing just a little bit of that precipitation coming on in, but at the moment we're just looking at some cloudy conditions all around the lower elevations into the higher elevations and our temperatures are mostly into the 80s at the moment, but we will start to see those 90 degree temperatures in about an hour or two. As we get hotter, we're also going to pick up energy for some storms. And so around the middle of this afternoon, you see these pops of greens up near uh, the higher elevations and also towards the continental divide. Those are those chances of thunderstorms as well. We're also going to see them into the Uncompahgre Plateau. But we do have a chance, a very small chance, to see some of those thunderstorms build up towards right around the edge of those higher elevations. So if you do live any near those any of those higher elevations, you do have a very slight chance to see see some of those storms as well. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. We're looking at temperatures back into the 90s, 99 for today, 98 for tomorrow. And we see a slight chance of some storms for today, but they'll start to increase on Saturday and Sunday as that storm activity starts to build. And then by Monday, we'll see a slight chance of storms as well. Montrose high of 96 for today, 95 for tomorrow, and very slight chances of storms today. Higher chance of storms tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining us. We will be right back.